Saeed Hassan Nasrallah is not alive anymore. They got him. It's been uh, confirmed. And he was the leader of Hezbollah, the party of God. And he became the leader in 1992. Been the leader for a long time. Before that, he was part of the Amal uh, movement. And the Amal movement, Amal, Amal meaning hope, was a unification movement for Christians and the Shia Muslims to work together. One of the founders of the Amal movement was actually a Melekite Christian, so a member of the Orthodox Church. It's interesting, with the politics of Lebanon uh, and the Levant in, in general, the Orthodox Christians have been in closer alliance with the Muslims who are resisting the occupation and the imperialism over there. The Maronite Christians, the Catholic type of Christian in Lebanon, they were on the other side in the civil war and they sided with the uh, forces that in invaded. Uh, but um, Melekite Christians, Orthodox Christians very often uh, joined movements that would align them with, with um, other fellow Arabs, be they uh, Muslim or Christian. And um, Nasrallah, he uh, acquired long-range rockets at one point, and um, when the occupiers withdrew in uh, 2000, they retained the Sheba Farms district, and um, uh, Hezbollah continued uh, to resist uh, that part of the occupation of southern Lebanon. In 2006, Nasrallah was a, involved in an ambush and got involved in um, the Syrian conflict. He was also accused of assassinating Rafiq Hariri. That was the uh, Lebanese prime minister. That was in 2005. And due to the proportional uh, law that they have in their parliament in uh, Lebanon. Hariri would have been a Sunni Muslim. The Prime Minister is always a Sunni Muslim uh, in Lebanon and Nasrallah was accused of killing him. So not only has Lebanon's uh, turmoil been about Christian against Muslim, it's also been Shia against Sunni. Um, we've mentioned before on this channel how Hezbollah joined in the civil the civil war in um, in Syria and fought to help uh, Bashar al-Assad cling on to power because of that a lot of people are celebrating his demise today people who uh, claim to be Palestine supporters uh, are celebrating the death of one of the guys who uh, resisted uh, that occupation, didn't he? Rightly or wrongly, I'm, I'm not uh, condoning uh, Hezbollah uh, if, if they're um, illegal, uh, but wasn't he on the side of the Palestinians in all this? Wasn't he one of the few people that did something that lifted a finger when uh, Gaza was under attack? So don't, don't you find that a bit strange? that you would be on that side. Uh, my enemy's enemy is my friend. I know that's a, a short-sighted way of thinking about things, but to all the people celebrating his death, do you not feel that you've been uh, manipulated in, in some way? Why is he under attack, but many of the other factions... Uh, fundamentalist Islamic groups in Syria or not? Why was he killed uh, and why were they supported? Why were they propped up against him? If you do hate Hassan Nasrallah, and I'm not saying he, he was perfect, have a think. Have a think about why he is gone. And look, they're, they're all um, they're being picked off, aren't they? Ismail Haniyeh, 
has gone. Nasrallah now. And when you look over the years, these uh, individuals that were always there, always um, involved in the conflict, it's like um, end of an era, uh, really. Hard to believe that they've uh, managed uh, to get rid of him.